We're going to swim in cenotes. Look at this. Reaching for the divers and then we're staying around. Hey, this is Next Meridian. We are Nick and Mathilde, and we left everything behind to travel the world with our Land Rover Defender, Albatross. Three years, seven continents, 88 countries, and just the road as a home. In a wheelchair at the hospital. <laughs> An unfortunate course of event brought us to that hospital. Let's rewind a bit and see what happened. Four hours to the accident. At this point, everything goes well. <laughs> nice! Woohoo! Dive! Dive! Let me pause on this little movement. It may not seem very important for you, but remember it, it's going to come back in the rest of the video. Two hours to the event. At this point, we still have no idea what's going to happen. One hour to the event, we're now leaving the Laguna and driving all the way to Dos Oros Cenote. Zero hour to accident. There is nothing our protagonist can do to avoid his faith. We're going to swim in cenotes. Look at this. Nice. The water looks cold. Cold? Oof. Nice. Is it cold? The briefing for the divers and then we're staying Oof. around here. It's cold but it's okay. <laughs> wow. This water is clear.
and just like that with one breaststroke leg kick boom Nick dislocated his knee We were enjoying a nice swim in the Cenotis when Nick uh, kind of unlocked his knee I don't know what's name, I'll add it here So now we're waiting for medics to see what we're going to do In the moment How are you? I'm down I'm okay What happened? <laughs> I don't know, but part of the knee has uh, moved out of place and I can't put it back in <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to try, so I guess we're gonna go see a doctor. So we made it to Playa del Carmen, which is just north of uh, Tulum, and they have better doctors here. And Phil brought Nick inside the doctor's office so let's see what he says we might have to do a scanner and the doctor already warned us that scanners here in Playa del Carmen are not very good quality so we might have to go to uh, Cancun which is another two hours north to get just to scan it done fingers crossed there seeing the doctor now let's see what he says In a wheelchair at the hospital. <laughs> we get Nick a new car for the rest of the world tour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what a race! We left uh, Nicolas inside the hospital for his scanner, so we have to wait 40 minutes and then we'll drive all the way back to Playa de Carmen. To see the tractor, but at least we made it in time for the appointment despite all the traffic and the traffic jams and all the rest. And um, yeah, hopefully, he's able to walk again without too much pain soon. And otherwise, we'll stay put for a little bit. Let's see. Now, my driver waiting for me so I can go directly into the car. Nice, yeah. thanks, driver. Yeah. Hola. And what we feared was announced. The doctor told us we had one month maximum to complete the surgery, and that this procedure would require Nick to stay put for rehab a minimum of six weeks. I would lie if I was saying this didn't affect us. Weeks stuck in Cancun? That was not part of the plan. So as far as we are concerned, from now on, Breaststroke equals danger. Uh, so the issue is um, the menisc, which is going like this, and it's actually in a lot of pain. Ugh. And so I can, you know, my right knee move it in all directions, no problem. But this one, it's really tough for me to flatten it out, even though. The doctor said that I should keep moving it from time to time just because it feels better, just because it will make it better. But honestly, this is oh, so unlucky that it happened. And today when we were in a cenote, which is those water pools, we were swimming in it. And I, you know, when you're doing a frog swim, you're sort of kicking your legs backwards. And I guess by doing that movement, it sort of popped it out and back in. So it did come back in this time as well, but huge tear, I think, because it's so much pain, it was so much pain. And I was like, and my brother was right next to me. I was like, Phil, I think something is wrong. I, I think I messed up my knee. And so we slowly swam out of the water and then they pulled me out, you know, Mathilde and Phil carrying me over their shoulders. And then we went to the doctor, uh, orthopedist and traumatology. And he was showing me how the meniscus sort of, um, ended up you know you could see normally like two little triangles where there's a squash of your knee and one of them 
had pretty good tears, pretty bad tears where liquid ended up going in. And he said, yeah, it's tear, it's torn. Um, he said, maybe in a week or two, you won't have pain, but it can pop out at any moment. And if it locks your knee like this, then you're really screwed because it will be stuck in that position and you'll have to go through surgery to put it back. And because you've torn it and blocked it, it might be in really bad condition. So it will be harder to heal. Um, so he said, the best is we take care of the surgery now. And so I'm super vulnerable because in both cases, I will have to go to surgery uh, at some point. Uh, I'm so like out of energy and I just have to first process for me. Like right now, the first thing I'm processing is, dang, my knee is torn. My, my meniscus is torn. I have to take care of this. <sighs> been eight months or almost nine that we're on the road and it's like oh no we have to take care of this and we have still so much to do but we are not of the kind to desperate on what we cannot change so from that point on the marathon was starting calling doctors back home to get second opinions calling the insurance to try to convince them to let us do surgery in mexico calling contacts to try to find potential doctors in mexico dealing with health issues abroad is a big challenge Phil, did you get your little uh, tahin? Yeah, I did. Great. Just in my bag. Sweet. Bye. Can we have you? Bye, Phil. Bye, Bye Nick. Bye, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Nick. <laughs> Are you yeah, no. the star? We, we, we give you in a good state, yo. Know? Voila. Uh, actually, a smile. I'm actually, I don't know, actually, I'll take a picture later. And eventually, the answer came. The insurance allowed us to stay in Cancun. We kissed goodbye Nicolas' brother and his friend Patricia and continues with Alessandra to Cancun where we would try to find a doctor. And there again, life did things well. If you followed our journey, you know who Ricardo is, the garage owner from Tijuana with whom we stayed three days when we entered Mexico. Well, in the matter of 24 hours, Ricardo had found us a recommended doctor who had performed that exact surgery on professional athletes. Thank you so much, Ricardo, for your help. Surgery scheduled, doctor found. Now we need a place to live. I think I think we found a place uh, so <sighs> I've been visiting since yesterday uh, we negotiated like crazy uh, we struck a deal too big for what we want but it's available on the dates and the guy reduced the price so much that eventually it's the same price than the apartment of the size we wanted so I think we're going to take that I'm waiting for his answer that's a big relief Hello, so we've just arrived in our apartment complex. Uh, it's pretty sweet, look how green it is. It's got a lot of trees and we're in one of those buildings behind me. And it's pretty sweet because it's also got a pool. Wow, look at this. And everything looks really green and nice. So we're on the first floor and all these apartment complex do have a pool. So Mathilde will be able to enjoy all the amenities of this place while I get horizontal because starting tomorrow I have my surgery and uh, then for 21 days I cannot be put any weight on it so I'll have to uh, really be careful on what I do how I walk and making sure I do the recovery so all the good luck to me and here we are gonna live in Mexico in Cancun and be locals for about a m whole month here we go Okay. When it's done, it's done. Hola, hola. Today is surgery day for Nick, so we're preparing the bags 
And we're going to catch a taxi. Hopefully we don't forget anything. <laughs> It's been uh, super easy, so we arrived at the hospital and there was an uh, assistant of the doctor was already waiting for us in front of the reception with all the paperwork, so she's doing all the paperwork to get us, I mean, to get Nick in, in the hospital, ready for the test, so, so far we've been like super well uh, accompanied, super easy, hope everything will go well. I have to shave my leg hair now. And what do you think of it? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is for shape the area that we're going to Okay. Okay, gracias. Bonne chance, mon château, ça va bien se passer. Nick in surgery. The administrative marathon didn't end. We had to ensure payments are managed, paperwork validated, insurance happy. A surgery abroad is a series of hurdles that take a bit of time to maneuver. Considering the importance of the matter and the fact that we tested it firsthand, we will dedicate an entire video with the lessons learned about handling health issues on the road. Leave in comments your specific questions so we make sure we cover all the topics of interest. So we were able to see it. He's uh, waking up right now and the surgery went well, so we're happy with that. Now we're waiting for a room. Um, when he's out of the post op, post surgery monitoring, we'll go to this room, see whether he needs to spend the night here. There's a good chance he will. Okay, so you're gonna feel tight. First one, put your finger up, down, middle finger up, good. Get up your. We received the doctor's blessing. Everything was well. Now, time to rest. Pretty lucky. Looks like eggs, pancakes, maple syrup, and a few vegetables. We would like to thank very much everyone who has supported us to this challenge and we will promise you, videos will keep coming every week. Also, soon soon, we shall be back on the road. Thank you so much for watching, take care and see you next week!